Hello, this is Mike from Fair Repair again and today we have a special job. It is something like my personal boss enemy right now. This is a Dell Latitude, Latitude uh, 5580 with um, i7 7th generation and uh, small GPU MX140 or maybe or GT 940 MX something like that. Well. It is my boss enemy because I have a second device here, a second Latitude 5508. And um, it had bad liquid damage and I have repaired a really big area from the uh, liquid damage and had to restore traces, tracks and uh, ICs and uh, spent a lot of work already and uh, I was not able to bring it back to life. The actual conclusion is um, it is a dead PCH. Again, actually, again, because uh, initially it had a PCH, a bad PCH too. It was replaced and it is still not working. So yeah, it is a really complicated case. And, um, and I will talk about this case when it's time when it's time for this case. Now we'll concentrate on this one. This latitude come in with power on but no picture, something like that. And um, if it is by any chance not a dead CPU or a dead PCH, for example, when I see a good chance it could help me figuring out the issue with the second board. So I have a known good board to troubleshoot the bad board. Maybe it will work. We'll see. So let's check what this device does. So bench PSU. So it draws 24 milliamps. Power button is not lighting and drops to 13 milliamps, 40 milliamps and that's it I guess. To zero. Okay, drops to zero. And we have a blink code. Three orange and five white. What could it be? See yourself. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Three orange, five white. Hmm. Let's ask the web. Good. Dell Diagnostics tells it is something, uh, it is a power rail issue. But uh, I've read a bit further and also uh, found solutions like BIOS issue or hard reset and uh, something like that. So yeah, let's observe the consumption again. What happens when I press a power button? Now, okay. LED goes on, 16 milliamps and stays like that. Mm. Not sure what it could be. Maybe we are lucky, maybe not. Okay, let's open it and see what happens.
Okay, let's unplug the battery. See, memory is still memory is still there. SSD probably not, but that's not an issue. Let's remove the battery. Let's check the voltage of the battery. I'm inter I'm curious. So ground nothing. Nothing. It's depleted? No. 7.5. 7. Point rated at 7.6. Hmm. So, battery removed. CMOS removed. So let's let's perform a hard reset, shorting the pins of the CMOS battery. One second. Okay, my friends. Now we have performed a BIOS hard reset. Also, we will reset the memory maybe to the second slot here well and let now let's now let's check whether it turns on now So power, it is on, 1.4 amps, this might take a while because of the hard reset, 1 amps now. off on so it did a reboot <laughs> and now Ah, a second reboot. This is at least way more than we had before. Even a third reboot. Come on, show me something. One amp. Something happened with the display and now I have the Dell logo. You see? Nothing more necessary when a BIOS hard reset. Okay, okay, now complaints about uh, time and uh, date not set. Uh, all 
also something with the adapter. Okay, however, very nice. It was just stuck with BIOS. Yeah, pretty common these days. And um, yeah, <laughs> a short video this time. As always, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.